Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. This is episode number 30. <laughs> I've been doing good at writing it down and not saying random numbers. Uh, welcome back to all, well, welcome back to all the original subscribers. And welcome to all the new subscribers. There's been quite a few. I'm over 600 now. Um, yeah, I did that this weekend. I couldn't remember if I mentioned that last video, but I'm over 600. Woo! <laughs> I think the last time I celebrated it was 500 and something. <clears throat> Anyways, that's really awesome. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Sure, it's a little hot, <laughs> but um, I'm filming on my phone today just because it's easier. Um, I just literally got Jesse down for a nap. I just laid him down like three minutes ago, <laughs> and so I'm gonna try to film this real fast and uh, see in my eyeball. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, I'm filming on my phone, so I might be distracted by myself looking over at myself, but the camera's right there, and I'm looking at it as much as I can remember to. But um, yeah brain farted a little bit anyways welcome back uh let's see here announcements i don't really have a lot of announcements a couple couple little things <clears throat> one is this saturday or sunday i'll film it friday and it'll come out either saturday or sunday whenever i get it done edited and uploaded i'm going to be making the video for the cro all the crochet alongs that i am currently participating in um there uh let's see here Three of them's already going on, <laughs> so I'm a little late getting this out, but I'm going to try to, every time I start a new cow, I'm going to make like little videos explaining it so that if you're interested in joining along, you can, you know, all the links and everything will all be in one area, so you, you know, get the information, follow the links, and join. But there's one cow that I'm in, uh, it's hosted by Evening Days. It is a shawl along. Excuse me. It's... It's not got a lot of activity on it, so uh, I will link it below, and if you're interested, it's all the shawls created by, what is her name? Jo Johanna Lindell, she is, I think it's called, I think it's pronounced Moho Designs, <laughs> I don't know. Um, she made the Lost in Time shawl, the um, Secret Path shawl, really popular last year. Um, the even gaze crochet along is all her shawls. I'm trying to do it, but I'm having a hard time with the Lost in Time shawl. It it's, requires way too much concentration, concentration for me because with Jesse running around, I need patterns that I can kind of memorize, and I'm having a hard time remembering the rows. There's only a few rows that's repeated. It's like a section that then you repeat it over and over again. But I haven't been able to work on it at all, like much at all. And I'm actually, I was asked by another, a friend to, um, test one of their patterns that they're releasing soon, so I'll be doing that later. Uh, I'll be starting it, and I don't know how much concentration it's going to need, so I'm going to be focusing on it more because, you know, they asked me to test it by a certain date. But I will try to finish the Lost in Time show. Anyways, that's enough of that. <laughs> um... Other announcement is the wish list tutorial I released earlier this week, I think. Um, I didn't know it because I've been on Ravelry forever and, you know, I'm just used to the ways that I do things. But apparently in, at the end of 2016, December into 17, 2017, they changed that for new accounts. Like new accounts, wish lists are different than the old accounts, which my account's old. It's been around since 2011. Um, so that video that I made isn't accurate for all members so if you're a newer account if you're made into that it's like January 2017 to you know now um, it would be different so I'm going to actually I think my sister's account is a newer one she's got one on there I may go into her account and see if um, if hers is different and if it is I will make another video for the newer uh, the way the wish lists are done and release it so I'm sorry if you watch that video and tried to do what I was telling you and it didn't work and it, it was because your account's newer than December 2017. 2016. I got a stupid scab right there. <laughs> Alright, I think that's all my announcement type things. Oh, I keep page of time. Fingers are trapped. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to hop right on into the rest of the show, <laughs> which is finished object. I only have one because, like I said, this last week has been pretty hectic. We've been, you know, doing a lot of errands, and Jesse's been teething like crazy his top two canines his little gums just around him are so red and sore and it's been affecting his sleep and everything so I haven't had a lot of crochet time 
and the crochet time that I did have I used it on my secret project because it's the same stitch over and over and I could do it while he's you know in the living room or also um, I've been working a lot on the um, the American flag roof but anyways the finished object is just this little owl it's um those little tiny things of tissues personal tissues I can't remember what they're called then little packs of tissues it's a holder for that that was a really long explanation but anyways it's just a little owl this is a paid PDF by Heidi Yates, but it's free on her blog. I got the PDF for free because, like I always say, when she comes out with a pattern, she gives it away for a little while. She gave it away for a little while on her Facebook group, which is totally snappy. If you're not a member, join it because she gives away stuff all the time there. But this is just made with a scrap of Red Heart Super Saver Bon Bon. And then this is just a little bit of black, uh, white, and... This orange isn't a Red Heart Super Saver. It's just a scrap orange that I have laying around. But um, when I first saw this, when she released this pattern, I thought that the um, feathers were crocodile stitches, but they're just, um, what are they called? A little, no, are they shells? I think they're just little shell stitches. Or cluster stitches, clusters, I think they're clusters. Anyways, it was super quick. I made this in like, not even an hour, way under an hour. While Jessie was in here, <laughs> You start at the, up here, you make a chain and then you work in, you know, around the chain. Like, like if you're making a booty or something. And then you make the hole, kind of like you make buttonholes by chaining and skipping stitches and then picking them back up. And then when you close it, it's open on the bottom and then you can, it said to whip stitch it, but I just uh, slip stitched it shut. Because it doesn't matter. And then little uh, tassels, I guess they're called, are just on there and little eyeballs. It's made with a H and an I hook. I think the body is an I hook and the little, these bits are H hooks. H hook. But yeah, it's a super cute little pattern. I made this one for myself. I'll probably keep it in the car. And then I got another little pack of these little tissues that I think I'll make another one of these for either my mom or my sister, who just whoever wants it. Um, I think my sister might actually use it. My mom would probably just set it somewhere because I made it. Because she's a mom and that's what moms do. But yeah, that's my only finished object this week. I was hoping to get some Christmas ornaments done. And I got some patterns downloaded and everything ready. And I just didn't get the time to sit down and do it. I'm hoping this weekend to get some more stuff done. Because I want to get some of my whips done. Just so I can start more whips. <laughs> right, so I'll go ahead and hop into my whips. And my first one is the American Flag Reef. Which I think is in my candy bag. I love my candy bag. Right, I got to dig it out because I put the parts that I finished all the way at the bottom yesterday it is made with h hook and i'm using my little frog hook set him right there all right last time i had i was working on the blue section and it was a chain 390 and then you have to do one row back of uh, v stitches and then go you know turn it and go back with um shells and uh slip stitches so I finished the blue section and it is long. Here it all is. So the dark blue that's showing up. I got a lot of natural light right now, so it's showing up really bright. That is the blue section of the roof. It is very long. It's I would if I had to guess, I would say it's eight or nine feet long. Because it is way over my wingspan. <laughs> and I'm five eight. No, I'm not. I'm five seven. I lied. And then I finished two of the red this is way not the right color this is cherry red by red heart or yeah red heart super saver so this is like a dark red but it's showing up really bright it's like a no, that's not gonna help it's like a it's a cherry red you know it's like the dark cherry color but anyways i gotta make five more red ones this size and then i gotta make uh six white ones this size and i'm just using red heart super saver Cherry red. I think the blue is navy blue. I can't remember. I jumped through the ball band away. And then the white is just white. Maybe this is off white. I can't remember. But yeah, so I'm getting there, done with that. The little ones work up super fast. I made those two in like an hour the other day, but then we got busy. We've been busy for the last few days just running and. You know, it's tax season, so we got our income tax back which is weird because 
I thought we had to wait till after February 15th because of the earned income tax credit, but whatever. We had to do all of our errands for that and then just Jesse stuff and just, you know, normal life stuff. Alright, next is my Lost in Time shawl, which is in my first bag, which is this really cute green cat bag. Dig it out. I think I only put one or two rows on it since last time I've seen it. I didn't put a progress keeper on it, but I will today. After today, because I like seeing the progress myself from week to week. And this straw's going to take me forever. But, let's see here. Yeah. There's probably hair all over it. I should like a dog. Yeah, I think I was on, not this um, puff stitch, but the row after it. So I added two or three rows since the last time uh, I filmed. Or the last time I showed it. It's, it's going to look so pretty. And I can't wait to get into the green of the genie, because I'm using... Line brand my Dollar Genie. I can't get it out. <laughs> it fits down in that bag really well. It almost fits like perfectly in there. Where are you? There it is. So I'm in this black gray and then I'll be getting into the greens. I can't wait to get into the greens. I think this will just take one ball to make one cake, but it might take two, which is okay. Because I got like six <laughs> of Genie and I, got, I just got a lot of my Dollar. Yeah, that's all I've gotten on there, and that, oh, I forgot to say this stuff about the flag. Let me, let me finish this one. That is the Lost in Time uh, pattern by Johanna Lindell. It is a free pattern. The American flag, which I, for, I always forget to do that, it is a free pattern on her blog or her website, but it's a paid-for PDF. But if you go to the Ravelry page and scroll down, you can find the link to her website. And it is by Erica Fedor, I think is how you say her name. <laughs> What's the next one? My secret um, project I've worked a lot on. It's grown quite a bit. <laughs> so I'll, I will insert a picture of it like right here somewhere. Um, it's getting there. I hope to finish the base of it eventually. It feels like it's going to take forever. But that's the reason I started it so early is because I was afraid if I waited till closer to the fair, I would, wouldn't be able to get it done in time. So okay, the next one is my Christmas square to get it out. This is going. This is the next square for Terry at the Orange Podcast. Podcast. Um, Cal, that she's doing of the repeat crafter me Christmas character pixel blanket or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. Let's see which way does it go. I think it goes this way. All these my stitches. This is gonna be the Christmas tree one. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> this is as far as I got, and this is just the very tip of the, the edge of the Christmas tree. And I decided to go with a, a um, what's it called? I think it's called Delft Blue. Wait, I got it right here. All the things off. I'm pretty sure it's Delft Blue. It's a really pretty bright blue. Uh, I was gonna do a green background because I thought the green and green looks good, looked good. But um, I decided that I want all of my backgrounds for my my squares to be gray, blue, and white, so that the colors would pop better, especially the reds. You know, would pop off better. So. Um, I just went ahead and made this one blue. But yeah, that's all I got so far. I love working these mini corner to corners. If I hadn't have done so much of my grease blanket already in a uh, regular corner to corner, I would start over in mini corner to corner. But I will finish that blanket eventually. One of these days. But the colors that I'm using for that is my heart super saver death blue. And I can't remember the green, but it's just a dark green color. I think it may be evergreen or something like that. I'm not sure. And there's more colors on that. It's just I haven't gotten to them yet, so they'll just stay in there until I get to them. Okay. My last. Oh, my hook. I'm using the F hook on it. Isn't it cute? Isn't it one? And it is by Sarah Zimmerman. I already said that. She's repeat crafter me. It is a free pattern on her website. It's on Ravelry. But you have to go to the website to download it. It's not a PDF. I think you can buy a PDF or add free PDF, but you can get it for free on the top. Alright, my next and last whip is I need to get all out to get it all. Is the Lucky Garden flag by Heidi Yates. I was hoping to get this done the other day. Like I was going hardcore on it that day. I think Jesse was gone. He was either gone or sleeping or something. And I was thinking I could get it done just right now because um you know, I was so motivated about it, but then something happened and we had to leave or something, and I had to put it down, and then I haven't picked it up since, which is just life. 
but um, it is a paid for pattern. I got it for free somehow. You know, I always get her patterns for free. She gives them away like crazy. But it is paid for pattern, but I think she's got a coupon code going right now. Or like a, not a coupon code, but you know, like it, it just comes off by itself. And it's, you use H and I hook, and I'm using all Red Heart Super Saver. And I got the uh, pot of gold done, the base of it. And then this black strip is like the uh, the lip of the pot that will go. I have to sew it on like that, I think. And then I got the rainbow done. This is a pretty rainbow. Ooh, it's really bright. It's not that bright in real life. This red and orange is going crazy, but they're not that bright. This red is uh, red hot, I think it is. The orange is pumpkin or carrot, whichever one's the bright one. And this yellow is crafter secret yellow. Spring green. Uh, what is that blue? That blue, I can't remember what it's called. I think it may just be blue. And then amethyst. I said that right but this rainbow will go under the lip I can't hold it right but it'll they're like lined up there it seems kind of long I guess it goes around the back a little or something maybe I made it big and then all I got left to work on is I gotta make the leprechaun's legs and boots and then I gotta make all the little coins which I made two of them that day that's what I was starting to work on is the, the little coins to sew onto the pot and I think there's a little shamrock uh, applique that goes on there too. So I'm getting that done. I can get that done the next setting. Um, probably the next time I sit down and work on it, I can go ahead and get it done. So it'll be a finished object next week. I'm hoping the Christmas tree pixel might be a finished object next week. Maybe not. I'm trying to not do that so quickly. Because I, I want it to last a whole month. I want to work a lot on the Lost in Time shawl. But a lot of my time is going to be... Um, put on that pro the pattern that I'm testing for someone. All right, that's all of my whips. I have some acquisitions. They were in. You'll see it today. Today, let's see here. Yesterday, uh, Thursday. What is Thursday? February eighth. Yeah, I, I uploaded a haul video. That's all the acquisitions I got except the one that I'm about to show you. Cause I got this after that, but um. So, I did get yarn. I got six skeins of yarn, but it's in that video. So, if you want to see them that bad, they're in there. It's just uh, three skeins that I love this yarn in light peach. Um, one skein that I love this yarn in graphite, I think that's what it's called. And two skeins of Crafter Secret in Pearl Fleck, which is a. Um, oh, God, what's that word? I can't remember what it's called. Not a header. I can't remember the word now. It's word for like little thingies on the yarn. And then the only other um, acquisition I got was this bag. I found it at Walmart. It said, Ola Beaches. <laughs> it was so cute. It was just a zipper bag. And it's a pretty big bag. I got it to um, use as a project bag for something small. Uh, it's cute. It's made pretty well. You know. I also got another one of these, but looks different. It has a different pattern on it. For my giveaway because I'm going to be having it soon. I'm hoping in the next two to four weeks. <laughs> I say that because I might end up ordering something for it. But what I'm going to do is i got a bag like this but it's got a different print on it. And I'm going to put some stuff in the bag and then that will be the giveaway. It will be like a project bag with some stuff. There will be yarn. I'm thinking about getting a hook for it and some stitch markers. And then maybe just some like you know odds and ends things and stuff in there. But yeah, that is everything. That's all the acquisitions other uh, than on that video. And I got a bunch of paper craft stuff, but I don't know if any of y'all are interested in that. So uh, that'll be in that other video. I already talked about those, the cows and stuff. So I'm pretty sure that's it. This is a short one this week because I didn't get a lot of stuff done. And I'm hoping to have more done next week. Uh, and hopefully some ornaments because I want to make more ornaments for Claudia's at the Crochet Luna. Um, crochet along that she's hosting, which is hashtag box of ornaments 2018. I need to get a box. Actually, I'll get a box. Devin ordered some shoes. He's got big old feet, so he can't ever find them in the store. <laughs> Size 13, I think. Um, so he has to order them online. 
and they're supposed to be coming next week and so that'll be a big old box i can use that as my box of ornaments i don't think she literally means a box of ornaments but a lot of people are taking it literal and i just thought that'd be fun to actually fill, try to fill up a whole box with ornaments for christmas time and then in november she's after the cow ends she's going to host a uh ornament swap but i don't know if i'm going to be able to get rid of some of my ornaments i don't know i might be sentimentally attached to them that's how i am with my stuff but yeah i think i've only gotten two ornaments done i got the christmas wreath and the little robin so i need to work on some more i got some more patterns already ready uh i just gotta get them started but yeah and i'm planning on making another one of these so it'll probably be done next week I'm trying to make sure there's no more um, announcements. I don't think I've anything. If I did, it'll be in the Facebook group. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and my giveaway, when it does come up in about a month-ish, I'll say, uh, you have to be a subscriber to win. And I will check. So, if you're not subscribed and you want to win something, you need to subscribe. But anyways, as usual, my links are below my Instagram, my Ravelry page, my Ravelry group, and my Facebook group. My Facebook group is really active. It's uh, a lot of fun. There's a lot of people on there that, you know, we share whips and just random, you know, whatever you want to share on there, you can share it on there. It's a lot of fun um, communicating, you know, with everybody. So join it if you haven't already. And like I said, join um, Snappy Tots Facebook group, which is called Totally Snappy. Um, because she gives away a lot of stuff in there and there's a lot of, you know, cool stuff going on in there too. And you have to be a member of that group to get the free patterns. Like I got this PDF for free. Um, when she when it came out, you have to be a member to get it. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.